that's the Korean for come now, O Prince of Peace, make us one body. Come, O Lord Jesus, reconcile your people. This is ELW 247, uh, Come Now, O Prince of Peace. It's in the Advent section, but it does really fit uh, for the last Sunday of Easter in year A. And here's why. It goes with the Gospel reading from John. And in verse 11, uh, John 17, verse 11, we have, While I was with them, Jesus is praying for his disciples here before he dies, I protected them in your name that you have given me. I guarded them. I'm sorry, let me go back a verse. And now I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, protect them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one as we are one. And this is the last part of that gospel reading for Sunday, uh, the Sunday after the Ascension, the seventh Sunday of Easter in year A. And uh, Jung, Jung, uh, Jung, I'm not sure if I have this pronounced right, but Jung Yang Li, I believe is the name here, wrote this hymn for the opening worship service of the World Conference for the Peace and Reunification of the Korean Peninsula. And this was April 25th, 1988. So here we see that this has to do with unity. And Jesus' last prayer before he dies is about unity. Again, quoting that last part of the verse here, Holy Father, protect them in your name that you have given me so that they may be one as we are one. So, uh, the I Too Low, the Asian hymnody expert, published this uh, selection in a book um, called Sound the Bamboo that came out in 2000 and has been used all over the world as a prayer for peace, love, freedom, and unity. So as we can see here, make us one body, uh, re that unifying aspect is how it relates uh, to the gospel reading, even though it's in the Advent section. Uh, the tune, as we see, comes from the first word of the Korean hymn, Oso So, as I sang at the beginning of the video here. And it's a five-note scale. It's a very interesting one because we have D, G, A, E flat, C. So really nice, gives it a Eastern sound, but it has some Western tonality. And how the Eastern sound is infused, I think, is through these dissonances. So one of them, uh, we can see here, is that Come O Lord Jesus. Let's get some pedal in there. There's a nice one, then we keep going. Here's another one. Even measure two. Again, that's not a common dissonance we're gonna hear so often in Western tonality. It does come up every now and again, but we don't hear it so often. Uh, and uh, what's interesting here is some have speculated that because we begin in G minor with this chord in G minor, that we end with an open fifth. Possibly that is questioning that unity is incomplete or unaccomplished. So I'll leave that for you to ponder uh, as they sing. And sing with me, please. Come now, O Prince of Peace.
Thank you very much for listening to Hymn of the Week.